When it's time for a new wardrobe, well, it's time for a new wardrobe. I can't go out like this. Buying clothes is just one of those life expenses that you can't get out of. But you don't have to waste money on expensive trends or on fast fashion that's just going to disintegrate. You can actually build a great wardrobe with smart thrifting and maybe save some cash for a down payment on a house. Today, Edwina and Shayna, the fashionistas known as Thrifters Anonymous, are telling me all of their secrets on how to thrift a great wardrobe on a budget. I'm Gabe Bolt, here to show you the small shifts that you can make in your life that will lead to a huge impact on your financial future. This is Big Change. Nothing is worse than feeling like you've wasted money when you have to buy new clothes. But if you shop for new things from the thrift store and online resale websites, you can find things that are stylish and well-made and way cheaper than brand new. Even better, you're living sustainably. But you shouldn't just grab anything off the rack. It can really help to shop with a list. Maybe this is even a good opportunity to build a solid capsule wardrobe with the basics. Cool dress pants, a nice coat, a shoulder bag for all my gear. And this is maybe stating the obvious, but keep an eye out for holes, tears, or questionable stains when you're looking for new used clothes. And you might wanna make sure that it can pass the smell test. <laughs> Literally. I'm still a beginner at this, but there are millions of avid thrifters out there who really know how to spot a deal. And today I'm talking to Shayna and Edwina, known to YouTube as Thrifters Anonymous. They're sharing their favorite tips and tricks on how to create whatever style you need for way cheaper than you expected. Well, thank you both so much for coming on the show. I am super excited to talk to you. We are so excited. Oh my gosh, <laughs> like, it's too excited. <laughs> how would you each define your own personal sense of style? My style, I would say I'm more of a, like a, a tacky, wacky, mm -hmm. chic, mm -hmm. meaning like blingy, like, you know, you see, ever see that grandma in the casino with like too much sparkle, she's like a <laughs> disco ball, she's 70. Like I'm that lady right now. I definitely can feel her on the tacky, wacky. Um, but I definitely think I'm, I can veer towards uh, like kind of a vintage classic with like a sporty chic vibe. Um, but every once in a while I need some, you know, sequin, and ridiculousness as well. So it was fun to finally say like, I don't have to say I'm this type of style. Well, I love it. I've never heard of most of those styles. So like, I, I mostly just wear like black t-shirts. So like, like, you guys are like next level. But that works for you. You're killing it does. that. It does. I mean, <laughs> you, you own that look. So kind of going back to thrifting a little bit, do you guys typically find better deals like in stores or online? <sighs> well, you know, we were just talking about this. Yeah, you know, when you're, when you're shopping in a store, they're like, especially here in Vegas, um, a lot of the thrift stores will do like special days. I mean, you could, you know, there's a day for when you're 55, there's a day for when you're a veteran, there's a day mm -hmm. because it's Monday and, and if it's green tag, then it's a dollar. And I, I think that's the, that's like the high that we get when we're in a store because we can like rummage and we always say like somebody screwed up because yes. we'll find like a treasure <laughs> and we're like, oh my God, throw that in the cart. Somebody screwed up. It's yes. ours today. It's a dollar or whatever it may be. So definitely in the store, I think there are some deals, but also it depends what you're looking for. For. True, because some things are so specific, you have to search online for them. There's right. certain online boutiques that carry certain things, and that's great. But the store is the thrill of the hunt, and you never know like how cheap it's gonna be. That sounds like a lot of fun. I'm not a shopper, personally, but I totally know what you mean by the thrill of the hunt. So be honest with me. Is there really a decent selection of men's clothing on the thrifting market? The men's section is kind of our secret place to find things. So a lot of things we hmm. do wear, it's actually men's wear, but we're rocking it and people assume that it's women's wear. So we actually start off in the men's section briefly to find our yeah. favorite piece. So uh, men do not get discouraged with the thrift store. No, I mean, you guys have incredible uh, suit jackets and oh blazers and tons of labels for men. T-shirts, I mean, you're a t-shirt guy, so you should be there <laughs> looking for t-shirts. The for shoes sure. are always like really cool. And you know, you can find brand new things. Don't forget, like right. there are things with tags still on it. Especially for men. 
so speaking of that, do you guys ever look for label stuff to try to resell it? Or do you um, just look for more stuff that you're interested in? You know, that's a good question. Well, you know what? We really focus on what we like, yeah. and then we're surprised that it's a label. And I think, and that goes back to, you know, it's not about what the brand is. If you love it, and you rock it, then that's gonna exude some confidence that no one can do if you're wearing a name brand. Like, it, it just doesn't happen that way. If, if this so is who true. you are, then, I mean, you'll you'll feel confident and you'll show that. And I think that's what we're really trying to do at the end of the day, so. It's not about putting yourself in a box or a type. It's really, how do I feel today? I'm gonna be my best me and showcase me yeah, today. And I think the thrift store helps you with that because you're not looking for brands. It's just, it's set up with, you know, blouses. It doesn't say, these are the brands and this is the store. There isn't like a, a preconceived notion of who would shop at this store. It's no. everything. All errors are there. Yeah. All fashion's there. That's what's great. Yeah, I really like that. Getting away from trying to, you know, show off and stuff like that with name brands and finding something that you actually like. So what would some tips be for someone who wants to build, um, let's say like a wardrobe for work that's totally from thrifting? Our favorite thing to do, Shayna put me onto this, is grab magazines, flip through it and just tear out or you know fold any page you like, doesn't matter why. Do you like the print? Do you like the color? Do you like the combination? Do you like the dress, the skirt? And you take those with you to the thrift store. But for newbies starting in this game, it's intimidating. So it we is. always recommend that start with one section. What's your main purpose? Do you yep. need jackets for work? Do you need blazers, something yep. structured? That's a great Start tip. there. Yeah, because people get overwhelmed. That's the first thing, like even my family, like, oh, can you just go do it for me? I need mm -hmm. this outfit for this thing. And I'm like, well, just go in there. And the thing is, is you do, another tip would be, I mean, you gotta go often, you know? Yes. And just pop in. You don't have to make it a 12 hour day like we do. Right. I <laughs> um, mean, people, people ask us people like, hang with us. They ask us questions like, what's the sale today? Because they think we work there because we've been there all day. <laughs> right. So yeah, start with one section at a time. Yeah. And if you do well, add another section, but don't overwhelm yourself and do your homework on sale days Go too. and find out, yeah, find out the days, you know, go on on their website and find out what their, you know, sale day is. And, and then you'll feel really good about it. And again, go in there for one item instead of trying to, you know, do it all because you will get overwhelmed and walk out. It does sound like fun. Yeah, I love those tips. Be prepared and then and then actually, you know, try stuff on, throw it in the cart as opposed to just like walking away because you're a little overwhelming because it does get overwhelming if you don't know what you're looking for and you just go in and there's like stuff all over the place. So I definitely agree with that. So what would you say are some of your favorite staple wardrobe items that you can easily find thrifting? We have to narrow it down. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> I think our favorite thing to thrift is outerwear, specifically blazers. Oh, blazers. Blazers is something that you can throw on right in the aisle. I don't care if you're in gym clothes, you're in anything. It just makes you look so well put together. It looks like you planned your outfit. I know, and we're in Vegas, so outerwear, it's funny that we even say that because it's, it's literally 100 degrees right now. Right, um, and we'll still rock a blazer because the layers are important. Yeah, Dimensions to your outfit are important. You know why else I love a blazer is because there are days where I'm feeling like I want to be bold. I want people to know that I'm like creative and that, I don't know, I'm trying to tell a story about myself without saying anything. Shana, you're so, showing them your second, your first skin actually. Right, so I'll choose like a red blazer because I feel like really good and it's a, a vintage blazer. So I want to show that like I love vintage and I, you know, I'm a little bit more um, than what you think I am. Vintage t-shirts are always fun. I mean, that's easy, you, men's. you know, we men's t-shirts. We usually go to the men's for that and we cut them up, we wear them for the gym, we wear them with jeans, um, you I mean, know, people are paying skirts. a lot of money for t-shirts. Well, those are great tips. I've never actually owned a blazer, so that is something that I will have to look into. Like, I, I, I need to catch up here, I'm so simple. Are there any tips that you have shared with your audience that have really had a positive uh, reaction from them? The things we're doing in the thrift store, people wouldn't do shopping. I mean, we're right. trying things on in the aisle. We're, we're happy, it's loud. It's Everyone's looking at what we're doing because we're in our element of trying things to figure out who we are today. It's right. not about who we were or we're, what we're trying to hold on to, is we're shopping for today. So I, I think we thought we were doing like, oh, we're gonna teach people how to thrift. And what no. we taught people how to do was really just 
you know, break learn, the rules, break the rules, yeah. break the rules. We have all these secret rules. Oh, I, I can't wear shorts. I can't wear skinny jeans. I can't wear belts. And don't get us wrong. Like we still have, we still have rules for ourselves. But you know? they're so minimal now when before we had a long laundry list of right. things we'd never wear, but now we enjoy taking the risk and trying new things. I know it's hard because maybe not everybody has a best friend like I do, but like going with a best friend who knows you, um, they can build you up too. I mean, there are times where I'm just not feeling confident and I'm like, I, I don't think I can pull this off. Like, forget it. Let me just, if Wina yells at me, throw it in the car. Yes. We're you're getting it. You look amazing. And sometimes you need that just to remind yourself. Yeah and take risk. That's what's so important. You don't want to buy the same thing that's in your closet already. No. <laughs> so you mentioned that some people don't love thrifting. Um, how would you kind of convince someone to go from a spending mindset to a savings mindset and kind of see some of these benefits? If the person's never thrifted, it's probably best to go with someone who has and focus on things they really like. If you know this person loves bags or loves shoes or loves something, it's just really trying out one section and finding one thing they love. And when they see the price of the item that they typically pay or overpay for on a regular basis and see it there, that's usually when the convincing starts. I think uh, a lot of it is just trying to kind of inspire people and it may be different it may you may inspire them with style maybe inspire them with cost I mean some people see the cost and sometimes my sister's like you know what maybe I should go to the thrift store I don't feel like spending $500 there are stores right now selling old jeans for like a hundred dollars when right. you could go buy old jeans for like five so I don't really understand oh, yeah. it jeans is huge there's like at least four or five yeah. aisles of jeans always so that's another good place to start everyone loves some bottoms everyone needs something to cover the lower half and some people go you know I only thrift jeans that's okay you're saving a lot of money by only thrifting jeans I mean listen if you can save money there and then you can go buy your dream home and <laughs> and go <laughs> create a huge closet so you, you know, can start your, your start your own business <laughs> you know follow your dreams like this is what we did we we say so much in the thrift store that we can actually splurge elsewhere so that's usually it's, our it's, answer we're like wow yeah. you have a really nice car you're like well i'm a thrifter yeah <laughs> uh -huh. edwina shana thank you so much for the tips uh we definitely need to go thrifting sometime because i need help uh, well, don't uh, worry, throw it in the car, LV.com will be available for you. Oh yeah. So we'll make sure to stock it up with some blazers for you. Yes, <laughs> for sure. Awesome, I'll have to check that out. Thank you both so much for coming on Big Change. Awesome. Thank you for having us. Thank we you had so a much. We had a great time. Well, I don't know about you guys, but I think that I just seriously upgraded my fashion knowledge. And I like the idea of not just shopping for clothes, but for things that excite you. No matter your personal look, you can find a wide range of styles at almost any thrift store. Now obviously my style is classic, cool. One of the best things that I have learned about thrifting is exactly how much designer gear that you can find. I think too many people have a vision of thrift shopping as just sorting through a bunch of used clothing bins, but there are actually well-known labels out there if you know where to look. Even if they cost a little more than the average thrift store find, it's a lot cheaper than buying this stuff new. At first, it might take a little bit of time to move from a spending mindset to a saving mindset, but trust me, once you have enough cash for a down payment on a house with a giant walk-in closet, you'll thank yourself. Head over to Rocket Mortgage and learn more about down payments and home buying. Thank you to Thrifters Anonymous for coming on the show today. If you guys wanna see more big change, you can click right over there. And also, don't forget to subscribe down below so you never miss a future episode.